Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today is a video that I wasn't sure that I was going to do because I wasn't sure if you guys were interested but I did a little poll on my Instagram and you guys said that you wanted to see this video so I have recently started filling up my tattoo sleeve I have like four new pieces to show with you guys share the meanings talk a little bit about tattoos and like my future tattoo plans also something that went kind of wrong with my most recent tattoo I'm just gonna talk about tattoos in this video so if you've ever been curious about body art or maybe getting your first tattoo or maybe getting your like 20th tattoo well maybe this video can give you some inspiration or help you find out a little more what it's like to get a tattoo and the pain levels and things like that it's interesting to commit to something on your body for life so since I've made a few other tattoo videos in my past I am going to share my new tattoos first for all of you that aren't new here and I've already like seen a lot of my tattoos and stuff and then I will like repeat a little bit just a short go through of like my older tattoos that I've also shared in like previous videos so you don't get like super bored or anything like that and and honestly, let's just hop into the video because I'm really, really excited to make this right now. <laughs> I have no problem putting artwork on my body that I believe is beautiful and that I feel kind of like speaks to me in a way, like that I feel like I won't ever get tired of. All of my most recent tattoos are from Fine Tattoo Work in Orange County, Anaheim by Felix Finch. He's done all my recent ones that I'm going to show you. So, and then I've actually had this little wave done and this touched up by one of my friends. The first tattoo that I got a few years ago is actually my YouTube tattoo right here. So this is a little play button. It's, you know, not like the most interesting tattoo, not the most like aesthetic. I don't love it to be quite honest, but we kind of went spur of the moment to this tattoo shop down the street. We were like, let's go get YouTube tattoos. Me and my YouTube friends after VidCon, I think it was in like 2016 and we just spur of the moment went, didn't really look up the guy and it was a mistake. Like their tattoos were super messed up. I believe they got a cover up on them, like no joke. Like, but I'm still like not a huge fan of it, which is sad because this is probably my most like meaningful tattoo it's like really freaking meaningful to me so I wish like it was a little more interesting but yeah it's just a little play button on my wrist I know YouTube isn't gonna last forever but this has changed my life so much for the last like what four years I just think it's really important to get that on my body because no matter what even if YouTube stopped tomorrow like it still made such an impact on my life you guys have made such an impact on my life that I thought it literally nothing would ever make me not like that tattoo because it makes me think of you guys every time I look down at my wrist I think of YouTube a second little tattoo we're gonna talk about is this wave right here so this actually wasn't too much of a meaning when I first got it I was getting my YouTube tattoo fixed up and we were just kind of like what like little free tattoo can we do and I came up with the wave but then I kind of realized it actually does have a really important meaning to me because I actually am a water sign a Scorpio is a water sign which is what I am and then plus my entire life I've lived next to the beach I've lived in San Diego and Orange County always fairly close to the coast so I thought that that was just a cute little like reminder of like where I come from my love of beaches my water sign this tattoo is the next big one I need to moisturize it she's very very dry so I'm gonna show you this like up close and a little bit better so this big forearm tattoo that I have is not finished so up here is not finished up here is pretty much finished but the thing about this tattoo is he did like fine needlework so so this tattoo is a snake with two cherry blossoms and then this which like I said it's actually not done so this is just supposed to be some kind of flower I have no idea he just decided to change it up because he thought all three cherry blossoms looked kind of weird I picked the cherry blossoms because honestly like they're one of my favorite flowers So that was kind of the closest flower I could get that like felt like it would look good with the snake Like I actually feel like the snake in these flowers looks so so good So like there's different animals for your sign So I so I'm mainly a snake and an eagle That's what a Scorpio represents like at like different times of their life and stuff like that I don't really know the snake is for sure a sign of like a Scorpio which like of course it's a scorpion too But like there's other animals it's confusing the snake is like the main representation of a Scorpio So this is more my astrology astrology Scorpio tattoo just a little tip like if you are looking for more dainty fine lined work definitely ask for that because the size of the needles are different so they can either make a more thick tattoo like this the outlining is really thick or they could do something like this which is a little more thin there's also like white he put white ink in this but I did make a mistake and I want to warn you guys because I was like taking really good care of my tattoos you know I always come home I put a and D on it and then I put lotion on a few days later like I do all the things to keep it good but I went against what 
what I should have done and I went in the tanning bed after about a week of having my tattoo and I burned the shit out of it you guys stay out of the Sun for a good like three weeks stay out of the tanning beds for three weeks I don't really know but I did have kind of a scare because like it kind of went like scaly and stuff and I heard like scaly tattoos are like a sign of like something bad I don't really know but like it got really dry and like ever since I went in the tanning bed and kind of like fucked with this tattoo it's been like really dry so like I don't know if it's done healing or not because I hope there's still more healing to do but I love it nonetheless it's amazing and it really completes like the full sleeve look and then this one is really interesting so obviously tattoo meanings can really mean like whatever right like you could say something crazy and it's still something really important to you and it matters this tattoo I had wanted a butterfly butterflies are simple they go with my theme of like I'm calling it like mystical nature sleeve that's what my sleeve is called this is kind of funny but I decided that this was like the for sure meaning of it and I don't know why it like clicked in my head so I was at EDC day three and I was watching my favorite DJs their name is snake hips and they're so groovy they're so fun I was living my best life with my boyfriend my friends I was the happiest I've ever been on EDC day three so I'm listening to the set I'm freaking jamming and I'm like at like the peak of my happiness like just enjoying my last day there like just dancing away and I look up and there's literally like all these like butterflies they have characters they have like decorations they have like all this stuff like walking around and like flying around so they had these people with like these giant butterfly things and they were all colorful and beautiful and I'd already like wanted a butterfly I was already like thinking about it the fact that like I was for sure I like already told my tattoo artist about the butterfly I see the butterflies like all at my favorite set on the best day of my life like I still call this the best day of my life this is the meaning to remember how happy I was in this moment to remember how thankful I am for everything in my life for my friends for this music for music in general for EDC for raving I don't know like the butterflies just symbolize that night so that's kind of how I connect like snake hips also my favorite DJ so now I think of snake hips that night happiness friends I don't know it sounds really stupid but like I think it's really cute so let me show you the tattoo so that is the butterfly fly tattoo it's just really really simple it's honestly probably one of my favorites and I was just trying to fill up the sleeve so he picked the placement for it I was gonna put it like on the back of my arm those are basically all my new tattoos and meanings that I haven't shared with you guys yet so really quick just to go through a rundown of my other tattoos very quickly because I've already talked about this I do have the roses on my shoulder and these are two roses I originally started getting tattoos like for my family so it meant like my dad and my sister because I got the quote that I'm gonna show you for my mom and then I have have my wolf piece right here I got most of my tattoos when I was about 18 or 19 and then I just started getting all the new tattoos that I showed you it's a wolf a mandala and a moon because like I'd always wanted like that mystical like mandala vibe you know so I truly do call this the mystical nature arm so I have like most of my tattoos on this arm and I'm gonna keep them all on this arm because I do like to keep most of my tattoos on one side just a personal preference um, and then I have this little heart right here this actually had no meaning so that's cool I guess I just wanted a cute little heart and then I do have the little cross arrows behind my ear and it was with my best friend at the time when we got this we actually kind of had a falling out for a few years and we're actually cool again that's really nice because I was kind of convinced for a minute that getting tattoos with significant others or friends will actually break you up because both of the people that I got tattoos with I was no longer friends with for like a while and then they both slowly like came back into my life and we're cool now the beef is squash everything's cool but I was really convinced there and then I have the quote from my mom on my arm it says you are my soul and that was because ever since I I was little she'd go you're my heart and I'd go you're my soul this has no meaning I know a lot of people ask about this tattoo because I believe like a lot of people get those tattoos for like relatives that have passed and stuff like that but no it doesn't have a meaning this is one of the ones that I'm not a huge huge fan of now and I would probably take back if I could so yeah just warning you guys like I am so in love with my new tattoos but some of my old tattoos I would probably go back and not have but the lines to be honest the little like three lines I'm talking about right now like I kind of regretted that like kind of soon after and I got that years and years and years ago so like it's not like I regret it like I don't want to say like I regret anything at all if I could I wouldn't have it but like I literally don't care it doesn't phase me like I'm so used to it it's just a part of me now um, but yeah if it had like a really important meaning that would be cool but I think the fact that like it was just art at the time that I liked and it didn't have a meaning kind of eh, I don't know it's just personal opinion you guys might love this tattoo I don't know I know a lot of people do love it and they like ask me about it I'm like sorry if the camera just got super bright I have no freaking clue so now that I've shared like all of my tattoos with you now you have a better idea about all my new tattoos are I want to talk about some of my future tattoo plans because I'm probably gonna get them really soon and like I don't know if I'll like make a whole other video about it I'm getting a tattoo for one of my top like three DJs in the whole world I don't know I just love music I love EDM and I feel like I could easily get a DJ tattoo and like not regret it because like that's music that made me feel something made me feel alive made me love the rave scene and everything so I'm getting a tattoo for Porter Robinson I'm not gonna say what it is but I am getting a DJ tattoo so 
<laughs> you only live once, right? I do want to fill up my arm though, see so if you guys have any like suggestions or like something that would look good with like the theme that I'm going with. Let me know, like feel free, give a girl an idea because I'm not too picky. So the pain of tattoos, because I know that's a huge question, I just want to like touch on this really quick. Tattoos are pretty painful, but they are not that bad. And the best way I can describe the feeling of a tattoo needle going into your skin is like a really scratching burning, like a scratching, scratching cat. See, if you're getting something like the butterfly, you know, that's like kind of big, but it's also small. That took like 10, 15, 20 minutes, like not that long. But if you're getting the snake shaded in, like all this stuff basically, it wasn't even finished in about three and a half hours. So, but it's seriously not that bad. Like if I can do it, you can seriously do it. I promise. It doesn't hurt that bad. So I highly recommend maybe start off with a small one so you like get an idea and then just like prepare yourself for a big one. If you do go in for a tattoo, no matter how big or how small, I highly recommend like eating some sugar, drinking some electrolytes before just so like you don't go into shock or anything like that. Your body's basically going through trauma, but it's worth it in the end. <laughs> And then like aftercare, I just go and buy like the A&D ointment or I get Aquaphor and basically you wash it with like non-scented soap two or three times a day. And then for the first two days, you apply the Aquaphor or the A&D ointment. So you're having like ointment over your new tattoo for the first two days. And then you go and get an unscented, really hydrating, good lotion for the rest of forever. So basically the first two days, ointment. And then day three through like the rest of your life, just moisturize it, keep it nice, you know? And then wash it, of course right before you apply the ointment or the lotion. That's super important because you're gonna see some nasty like film, plasma, blood, like it gets kind of gross, like at least day one. And then it starts like scabbing off. It's not pretty. So basically expect a healing time of a good month until it gets a little better. Probably like two to three months before it's fully healed. You can fully do anything. It'll look fully good. So yeah, not every tattoo you get on your body has to have a meaning. You might just really be inspired by the artwork. You might have just wanted this little simple thing forever. Like just go and get it. Express yourself. Have fun jobs are not as harsh on tattoos you can definitely cover them pretty easily I would just highly recommend going for it if you've been interested or wanting to get one for a while I really really love my tattoos I feel like a sleeve just adds a whole side of my personality it's just I've always wanted one so like I had to do it and I feel like you should just go for it sometimes obviously don't be stupid think it over whether it's an art piece or has a ton of meaning still think it over no matter what I think it's literally so beautiful to add art to your body especially in you know cool different ways I love having a little nature arm. I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed this video. You got to know a little bit more about me, my tattoos, the meanings, and I gave you some tips and advice just a little bit. But yeah, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on social media. The links are down below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a video. And yeah, let me know if you want me to do future tattoo updates or I can take you to the tattoo studio with me and you can go get a tattoo with me. And that would be pretty freaking fun because my tattoo artist said he's down. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you with my whole heart. And I will see your lovely, beautiful faces in my next video. Bye, guys.